Well, then go for it. I mean, put this slime bag away for good. Don't believe me. I thought about it. It could make my career. And flush him out of Lorna's life for good. Uh, well, you know, a victim like that might make Lorna see you in a, a different light. That's not part of the fantasy, Victor. A relationship between me and Lorna is not going to happen. No matter what I feel. But are you still hung up? If I can help her and do some good, I will. Okay? I hope you can. Me too. But listen, for your own sake, do not try to go one-on-one -on -one with Hutchins. I'd hate to see you wind up dead. Uh -huh. Carl, I don't want you here. Don't be so hasty. I come with valuable information. Like what? Our ground has whisked Victoria away to some undisclosed location, possibly a clinic for her recovery. Well, anyone who reads the paper can give me that information. Yes, but the question you must ask yourself is why? Now, I have many contacts, both here and abroad, and they will search every medical nook and cranny till they find her, if that's what you want. So what's it going to cost me this time? All I've ever wanted was your happiness, but that's something only Victoria can provide. Look, please, please stop questioning my motives. Mm. I will do that until the day I die. Well, that's unfortunate, Ryan, because you needn't. You know, I think my... my father's are an awful lot more alike than they think. You're both domineering, stubborn, strong-willed. Push the people away that love you. Then could it not equally be said that you take after the both of us, then? Excuse me? I mean, it was you that pushed Vicky into your brother's no, arms. No, no. Now, I admit, I made some mistakes, but from the moment Vicky and I fell in love, other people have been pulling us apart. One person, one person, Grant. Even that idiot Spencer knew that you, he could see you and Victoria belong to each other. I mean, each of us in our own way, we, we even tried to facilitate that. Right. Right. And by helping us, you almost killed us. Go after the woman you love. How many more chances do you think you're going to get? Vicky is going to come back to me. I thought the same about your mother. Now, Grant does not play by the rules. And if you insist on doing so, I think you're going to lose your Vicky. If... If I could make this right, if I could lead you straight to her, you wouldn't turn your back on me then, would you? Well, you couldn't. I know you couldn't. Just remember that Ryan could barely speak. He was so devastated by what he did to you. That's just the way Ryan is. He likes to go off and lick his wounds alone. It doesn't last. I only meant that perhaps it might be better for him if you never brought it up. Why? You know, I understand that it was just an accident, and obviously I'm going to make a full recovery. Well, the doctor warned you not to push and jeopardize the progress you've made so far. Don't you think it's important that Ryan's pain gets some attention? Well, perhaps Brett is giving him the attention he needs. Do you honestly think that Ryan told Brett about the shooting when he made you swear not to tell anyone, not even me? No, I guess not. No, I don't think so. I just think maybe he needs someone to talk to. Well, this Frankie Frame, they He didn't all... shoot... Frankie Frame. Look, I just want to help him deal with his guilt so that he can just move on. Let me ask you something. What? Are you doing this for yourself or for Ryan? What do you mean? Ryan didn't want you to know that he was responsible for your accident. How do you think he'll feel? What will he do when you confront him with it? I don't know. It's your decision, darling. 
Would you mind if I was alone? Darling, you're still recovering from your wounds. I'd like to be here when you talk. It'll to just be a Don't few minutes. Don't shut me out, Victoria, please. Maybe Ryan has some words for me as well. I just came to say good night. I wish you'd put that phone down and get some sleep. I don't know why he doesn't answer. I've called over and over again. This is insane. You're just getting yourself all worked up over nothing. Why me of his machine on? Maybe he didn't leave it on. He always leaves his machine on. If I could just leave a messenger. A telephone Maybe he doesn't number, want to be reached. He probably needs more time to deal with what's Darling, happened. if you'd like, I'll try calling him later on this evening. I'm afraid all you're doing now is exhausting yourself. Wait, you don't have to worry so much. It's my job to avoid this anxiety for you, not to create it. He's right. This is just much too stressful for you. Wait a minute. If you don't mind, I'd like to keep the phone right here. So you can start dialing when the birds wake up? No. So I can call when I wake up in the morning. I'm really exhausted. I should probably get some sleep. Good night, darling. Good night. Both of you. Sleep well. I know I will. You certainly worn me down. Thank you for bringing in the telephone. I feel a lot more connected to the world. Guess we'll be careful. The press doesn't find out where we are. It's not only your body we're healing here, Victoria. Remember that. I do. I love you. Good night. Rest well. Mother. Yeah. Just stay for a few more minutes. Why? <laughs> because I don't want to be alone. Oh. Oh. My poor baby. You've been through so much, but I don't want you to worry. I'm here, and your little boy and your sweet, sweet husband. We're going to take care of you. We're going to make sure everything is all right. Sketching. Oh, the Phantom appears. How's business? Oh, mine or yours. Well, I was hoping we could talk about yours. Well, actually, I was just finishing up these designs for KBAY. And... What's going on, right? Nothing. Do I have to remind you what a lousy liar you are? Huh? Thought so. Come here. Harrison, I didn't go all the way to Canada and back to be ignored. Are you worried about something? And dollars to donuts, which we're out of again. Mm -hmm. It's Vicky. First answer is correct. You win a cup of espresso. Oh, you feel like making it? Yeah. You feel like telling me what the problem is? Only if you give me a straight answer. You know me. I don't pull any punches. Have I lost my mind? back. I'm armed. Uh. Victor! Uh. Uh. Oh, what the hell did you spray me with? My secret weapon. Uh, you know, it ain't mace, but it, Here. it stinks. Here's, here's a hanky. Oh, and it stinks. Well, it's the cheapest <sighs> bottle of perfume I own, okay? Yeah, it makes yeah. my own eyes water. Yeah, where'd you get it from? Bottle. A trained skunk, well, huh? What the hell were you doing following well, me? I wasn't following you. If that were true, you wouldn't smell okay, like right, okay, it. Okay, all right, okay. All right, all right. I was following you, but it's not what you think. Just wanted to make sure you would get home okay. Oh, so you sneak around after me? Uh, look, after what you told me, I mean, I just wanted to make sure you're all right. 
Yeah, well, I am, and see, I proved it. Look, you're insane. I mean, you don't come into the same dark place after you've been spooked. I did on purpose so that I could get the guy who was harassing oh, me. Oh, yeah, and you think you're up to it, huh, with a, a spritz from bodega and a bottle? I came out here to lure him out of hiding, which was going perfectly well until you had to come along and ruin everything. Look, I didn't ruin anything. The only thing you ruined was my shirt. You know, maybe my pride. I can't see a damn thing. Well, well, I told you I was self-sufficient. Oh, yeah, you know, you are impossible. You're more stubborn than your mother. Be nice to me, Victor, and I may take pity on you and take you home. Yeah? Uh, yeah? yeah? Well, this might not be so bad after all. Don't get excited. I'm offering you eye drops. Now, do you need a hand or anything? No, no, no. I can make Fine. it on my own. Do it your own. All right, all right. Brilliant. Okay, all right. You did that on purpose. Yeah, you win. All right, fine. Yeah, watch it, buddy. 